of your daughters are here today, so hello. You are like your mom's greatest cheerleaders, right? But there's one in particular that I would like to draw my attention to. Um, you do have a child, uh, your daughter, of primary school going age. And so um, in that context, we'd like to know how you think the campaign is important for, for your daughter and other children, and um, why it's important for parents to tune into the campaign. Thank you, Kara. Um, hello, everyone. <clears throat> um, um, I guess uh, my, my daughters will probably tell you, well, I'm here as a mother, but my daughters will probably tell you that I'm a great child abuser because <laughs> I, I make them eat their vegetables and uh, make them do their homework. They have to finish their homework. It's so a tough love. Yes. And, <laughs> and they can't have any Facebook time until, you know, they've, they've done their homework and they've been bad and they don't have any Facebook time at all. So, according to children, I might be classified as an abuser. But, no, I think, um, I think this is a, a great campaign. Uh, it's so, because uh, even though we've had over the years some very um, major uh, stories in the papers about children who've been abu abused, even killed, I think that Nobody really knows the extent of it. Um, a lot of it is really very silent and, and subtle and we don't see it at all. I've just spent, um, I spent a few hours on Saturday at a home for, for girls. And all this time I was under the impression that a home like that is it's an orphanage. So everyone there is actually an orphan. And I was really shocked to find out in the homes around the country, um, in fact, only 5% of the kids in these homes are, are actually orphans, meaning that they've lost their parents. A lot of them have one parent, um, and some of them, of them even have two parents, except that one might be missing or something. And there's so many kids, I was really shocked to see that there's so many kids who are there because the court has ordered them to be taken away from their parents because of the abuse that they've suffered. Or sometimes even more sad, and I, I find it really hard to, to, to imagine because I'm a parent myself. They're there simply because their parents don't really want them. And, and that's really sad, and I think that is, a form of, I mean, they might be mitigating circumstances, um, but they're really there because, you know, the, the people who gave birth to them just don't want to have much to do with them or to care for them. And I think that's also a form of child abuse because it must leave mental scars uh, in a person to be so, so neglected, you know. And I was talking to the wardens and they said, they try and send the kids home every holiday so that the relationship between the kids and their parents are not completely broken. But it's really difficult, they said, because those separations from their parents really creates a distance. And it's very hard to repair. They know why they were sent there in the first place. And it's something that doesn't heal. Um, and, and so I feel really sad that there are kids like that. And there's only one home that I saw, which only had 50 kids. And I'm told that in lots of other homes, there's so many more, much more serious cases. This one was quite nice um, and clean, and, and you know, everyone seemed to get on well. But in the other cases, kids cover so many problems, and they bring all those problems into the homes. And that's really sad. So. The problem of child abuse in all its forms is really here in this country. And I don't think we really understand. Uh, we do a lot of charity work, you know, giving money to orphanages and all that. And we see all these kids, you know, we take them out and all that, but we don't really know what's behind. Why are they there? We don't ask why are they there. And I think that's the, the root of it. So I think it's a very serious problem. And I think a campaign like this is really important to raise awareness about 
the extent of, of child abuse in this country and to make people realize that there are so many different forms that because a kid looks healthy and is going to school even um, that they're fine and I don't think they're necessarily fine so yeah so well done uh, UNICEF I'm glad you're having this campaign and I'm glad to be part of it and I hope to help in whatever way I can well thank you very much for your comments